Fun fact, the shoebill stork is not a stork, but it is one of the birds that gives me the least amount of trouble to look at and go, yeah, it makes sense that that's a dinosaur. And some of you have been very persistent, so for day 24 of that November, it's time we talked about the shoebill. And yes, its scientific name is Balaniceps rex, with the rex meaning king, just like in Tyrannosaurus rex, which is pretty cool. But the genus name Balaniceps means whale head, which... I don't know, kind of rude. Also, if it's not really a stork, then what is it? Well, it's a spoonbill. It's kind of its own thing. But the group of birds that it falls in is the pelicaniforms, which includes pelicans and herons and spoonbills and ibises and things. But what's funny is that even inside this group, even though it might look or behave more like a heron or a spoonbill, it's actually more closely related to the pelicans themselves. But you know what I realized for the first time while researching for this video is that what spoonbills really look like is the evil version of this guy from one of the all-time best Pixar shorts, for the birds. Shoebills typically grow like three and a half or four and a half feet tall, which is quite a tall bird, but they only weigh like 12 pounds, which sounds crazy, but birds have really lightweight bones and they're mostly feathers anyway. And yes, in fact, it can fly and having a head that looks like an alligator's head or something, it looks totally unnatural, like a mythical creature or something. Also, its feet are way too big. Let's go ahead and take another look at that and, uh, yeah, definitely a little uncomfy, but it allows them, for even being pretty tall birds, to stand on top of clumps of floating plants as they wade around in marshes and swamps in central East Africa. They definitely eat mostly fish, and sometimes pretty big fish at that, but they're certainly not opposed to eating other small-ish animals like frogs and snakes and things. They also make a few different noises, one of which is clattering their huge bills together, which, when they do it fast enough, sounds just a little bit too much like a machine gun. Yep, terrifying. And frankly, I think that when they add an actual vocalization to it, it gets worse. Yeah, no. No, I don't like it. But for all of their intimidating dinosaurian qualities, they seem to be not dangerous to humans in the slightest. In fact, the University of Michigan's AnimalDiversity.org says that they are very docile with humans. And with that, we have officially less than a week left of Dinovember, and I'm running out of time to talk about all of your fantastic requests. But if there's any dinosaurs you're still dying to learn about, of course, let me know. I can always cover them later.